Welcome back, everybody. It's 643. On this December 12th, we're highlighting the work that 12 and 12 Incorporated is doing here in Tulsa. And if you're not familiar with it, it's an addiction and recovery center, and it's near 41st and Sheridan. That's helped thousands of Oklahomans over the years. And joining us this morning is Brian Day, the CEO of 12 and 12 Incorporated, and Jen Kirkhoff, a volunteer for 12 and 12. Thanks so much for coming in early and talking with Thank us. You Thank for you for having us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, this this is a really large complex there and it's located right in Midtown and you might not know it was there if you didn't have to go there for a particular reason, but uh, tell us about the work that you're doing there. 12 and 12 is a comprehensive addiction recovery center. Um, we are joint commissioned, so we um, have high levels of accreditation. We are CARF accredited, we are state licensed, and we operate a full continuum of care. So we provide medically supervised detox, um, inpatient services, outpatient services. We have alliances with Oklahoma State University, um, so they are providing um, medical over oversight at 12 and 12 right. and doing a great job. Yeah. So tell us about the work you're doing there. And I think we have some video of uh, last September when the new OSU clinic opened there, Brian. What, what kind of things do you do? You mentioned a few, but... Yeah, and, and you know, the what alliance... What happens when you show up there if you have an addiction? If you have an addiction, you can literally walk through the doors of the OSU clinic and you'll receive... Um, an evidence-based assessment and yeah. you will receive ap appropriate care, um, evidence-based care. What if um, you don't have any money? That's okay. Um, we literally have a comprehensive array of um, payment services and we can provide um, services from indigent all the way through insured individuals. Yeah, well, thank goodness for it. Jen, you have a personal yes. uh, story behind all of this, yeah, don't you? it was important for me to do something. Um, I lost my father to addiction, and as we were talking before this, I don't know anyone that doesn't have someone close to them. It's so true. Suffering. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's such a heart, um, it's so hard on the heart, and it's a big process. And so in losing his battle, I always wanted to do something to give back and to help others. So first to address the stigma, people don't talk about it. So families need support, not just the people going through it. Right. Um, and also just an awesome day, it's December 12th. So it's great to have 12 and 12 day and talk about the organization, talk about the stigma of addiction and ask people to donate $12 and learn more about what we're doing at 12 and 12 because I've learned so much just since I volunteered that I wish I would have known when my, um, when my dad was struggling. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of us do. And Oklahoma officials estimate that, and this is astounding, $7.2 billion a year on opioid addiction and your treatment is a big part of that right you know we ha we have to provide treatment um, we 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 know the overdoses are there um, we, we have to we have to get the word out that this is a serious epidemic and 12 and 12 since 1985 we've been part of the the solution for this state the solution for this community to provide the best care and evidence-based care and recovery is possible for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. It, you know, we've been hearing a little bit about this uh, public, uh, let's see, what's it called, the sobering center. Right. It's an alternative for people that instead of going to jail when you're arrested for either public intox or, or whatever the situation may yeah, be, the, you the can city go of here. Tulsa, uh, Mayor Bynum has been behind this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, this is operated by 12 and 12 for the city of Tulsa. And we're um, taking individuals who are publicly intoxicated and getting them into evidence-based programs um, literally within 12 hours of being in our community and publicly intoxicated, yeah. we can have them in a detox center. Yeah, good. And this is a this is a big time of year for all mm -hmm. of these it kinds, is. all addictions, truly. It is, very much so. Yeah, so it needs to be addressed. Thank you all so much for Thank telling you. us Thank about you it. Thank you for having us. And it's right here in Midtown, and uh, it's easy to contact <laughs> you guys, right? We're going to give the information about it. Yes. So Brian Day, CEO of 12 and 12 Incorporated, and Jen Kirkhoff, who's a volunteer there. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So let's send it over to Kirsten.